Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Clark. I am the founder and CEO of Clark College Funding and Clark College Consulting, the author of two wonderful college planning books. I am the superhero of college planning, helping you select, helping you apply, and helping you figure out how to pay for college. And today we're gonna to talk about how to spend money in college. There is some techniques to this, there's some tips. So I'm gonna give you six tips to help you through this process so you don't make any huge financial mistakes. So tip number one, you want to start with opening up a bank account and getting an ATM card today. And you want to do it as a joint account between you and your parent because it just makes getting the money very, very easy. Get, you can get money quickly. Um, it's just a great way of organizing your funds and be able to get to your money quickly. So number two, learn how to check your account balances from your phone. If you are a teenager, you're constantly on your phone, it's with you all the time, and so you need to know how to go in and look at your bank statement before you buy something. So before you go to the grocery store, before you go to uh, Starbucks, before you go get something or buy something off campus, check your, how much money you have so you don't overdraft. So it's a great idea just to learn how to do that. Tip number three, learn how to deposit checks. In today's world, all you need is a phone with a camera and you can deposit checks. It makes it really, really easy. So have your mom and dad or have someone show you how to do that. It won't take long. It's pretty intuitive. You'll like it. It's gonna save you a lot of time, a lot of energy. So definitely learn how to do that. Number four, and this is probably the hardest thing to do, is you need to create a budget. So before you go off to college, uh, more than likely, it, it, your budget's gonna be pretty tight. Most college students, it is pretty tight. But you need to sit down with your mom and dad and figure out exactly how much you're going to have coming in every month, if any. And you need to know how, how long you're going to need to stretch that amount. And most importantly, you need to learn how to stick to your budget. So figure out what a budget is, figure out what your particular budget is, and try to stick to it. I know it's very, very difficult. Number five, learn how to schedule and pay your bills online. So again, it's really easy today going on to your bank statements, going on to the bank websites and paying monthly bills. And so you might have a phone bill. If you decide to live off campus, you might have rent or you might have electrical bills, who knows? But uh, whatever it is, try to figure out exactly how to pay for this using your phone or going online and, and paying it you know, via the web. So last but not least, open up a credit card account now, not while you're in college. Why do I say that? Because you're going to get a lot of, it, you're going to be tempted to open up a credit card in college because they're going to continue to mail you credit card applications and it says the application's free and you're going to get all these wonderful bonuses and I've seen college students do that and get in a lot of trouble. So open up your credit card now as an emergency. So ATM card first, credit card as an absolute emergency. But you can have one and you can start building it up credit and it makes sense to have a, an emergency credit card account and that's what you should use it as, as an emergency. All right, guys, so the time to start developing good money management skills is now. Do it over the summer before you go off to college. Um, you will have a great start to your freshman year if you can implement some of these strategies. And do me a favor, guys, please send this and share this with other students and parents who might need a little additional assistance or they might want to just uh, get on the website or get on my blogs or, or sign up for this newsletter so they can get this information every week as well. So again, thank you so much, guys. I look forward to speaking with you next week. We will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.